Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. Um, I don't really have a plan today. There's things that I need to get done. There's a video I need to edit. And I'm gonna pick up lunch and go have lunch with Donnie at his job site today. I might run to Target <laughs> before that if I get done like doing my skincare and putting some makeup on real quick. I might run to Target before I go have lunch with him. I've just been trying to catch up on laundry this morning. Um, like I said, it's Tuesday and we are leaving Friday morning to go on our road trip for spring break. So, Donnie's grandparents live in Palm Springs. You guys know we live in Oregon and it is gray and rainy a lot during the year and we really just want to get away to some warm weather. However, we're road tripping to Palm Springs. Did I just say that? I think I, mean, I just said that, but um, it's only going to be in like the 60s, 70s while we're there. So not like last year, it was like in the 80s and 90s when we were there for spring break last year, but I will take sunshine in 60s over 30s and raining. So we're going to do that. Um, I am going to show you guys my current skincare and my current makeup. I've been getting a lot of requests for that on Instagram, so I figured I would just do that here. Um, and then I can share it over there too. So I just cleared off my counter because it's a freaking disaster. But first things first, I'm gonna wash my face. So this is the cleanser that I've been using. It is the, I think it's, how do you say, La Roche Posay? La, Ro La Roche Posay, I don't know. This is it. <laughs> I will have all, I have all my skincare. Um, and makeup linked for you guys in the description. But this is the Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. So I'm gonna double cleanse with this. I always double cleanse. Um, at night when I take my makeup off, if I have makeup on, I use uh, these makeup eraser towels. I don't use like makeup wipes or anything like that. We just use these makeup eraser towels. So you just get it wet and rub on your face and it takes your makeup off so easily. Um, without using junky makeup wipes. So that's what I use at night. So I'm gonna show you, my, my nighttime skincare routine is pretty much the, sh the same, but I'll show you guys the stuff that I use at night that I don't use during the day too. So I'm going to double wash my face with this real quick. dry wash rag. I'm always changing up my skincare and my makeup. Like, I love trying out new things. But I really like this cleanser a lot. Definitely recommend. It's like gentle. Doesn't have a smell or anything like that. Um, and then the next thing I use is this Bliss Bright Idea Vitamin C and Tri Peptide Collagen Protecting <laughs> Serum. That's a mouthful. I love this stuff. I do two pumps of it and just rub it in and press it in to my skin. It's so quiet in here. I hate that I can't have my music on when I'm filming um, vlogs where I'll get copyrighted, but typically when I get ready in the mornings, I have music on. I have a Echo Dot here in the bathroom that's plugged in. I always have music on in the house. This I cannot stand the silence <laughs> when I'm here by myself during the day, like when I'm working and all like cleaning, all of that, getting ready. I just have to have music on, so it's weird. It's like silent here. Okay, press all that in, get all dry. So these are the serums that I use. That one that I just showed you, and then um, for my morning skincare, I do the ordinary caffeine solution and then nighttime I don't do the caffeine solution. At night I do the hyaluronic acid and the buffet, both of these serums. So like I said, I'll have them linked for you. 
Um, this is the copper peptides, and then this is hyaluronic acid and B5. So these, I have found they just don't work well like under my makeup, so that's why I don't do them for my morning skincare. skincare. I just do them at night. But during uh, the day, this works well under my makeup, and it's like, um, you know, for eye puffiness and that kind of stuff. So I just take a little bit of that, and I just kind of do it around my eyes, like my forehead. Let that dry. And then for moisturizer, um, I love the CeraVe moisturizer. I always do this on my neck and my chest regardless. Um, but I also love these too. So sometimes at night I'll do the CeraVe moisturizing cream on my face. It's just like super hydrating. But I love the Elta MD moisturizer. So I have the PM and the AM. So I'll use this one at night, obviously, and then this one for the AM. So we're gonna do that one because it's in the morning. And also at night, like maybe like once a week to my PM uh, moisturizer, I add like two drops of this Tanologist, uh, what is it called? Self-tan drops in medium, they're face and body drops. It's just self-tanner for your face. Um, I do it at night and then I wake up with a bronzy face. So anyways, there's my moisturizer. We're gonna rub that in. And then I have the same, the Elta MD eye cream as well. I really like that brand. And my esthetician that I go to said that it's good too. And they actually carry Elta MD at the esthetician's office that I go to. So I think it's pretty good stuff. But I get, I just buy mine on, mine on Amazon. So there's that. And then like I said, I put CeraVe on my neck and my chest. Honestly, this stuff is great. I mean, it's like a big tub. It has hyaluronic acid in it. This stuff is really good. Just like all over moisturizers. My morning skincare. I also put on sunscreen in the mornings. And right now, I just have a little travel size one of these. I need to get a bigger one because I really do like it a lot. But I got the travel size just to try it out. Um, it's the Super Goop glow screen. It's a little bronzy, but I also have the Elta MD uh, tinted sunscreen as well. I'll probably take both of these to Palm Springs with us since we'll be probably laying out at the pool, even though it's not going to be like hot. Um, still, we'll have SPF for the pool. So I do a little bit of this under my makeup too, or days I'm, you know, not put, I don't do my makeup every single day. So either way, I do like that much and it just, I don't know, it makes you like glowy. So it's nice under your makeup or just by itself too. I'm getting a nice unicorn horn coming in. I swear, I don't know, it's so weird. I used to break out like during my period and now it's always like a week after. <laughs> so that is lovely. I get like one zip. Actually, I have one right there too. But see, it's just like a little glowy and I love it. So I'm just gonna let that dry and set in for a couple minutes before I start doing my makeup. So, oh, you know what? Sometimes in the mornings I do this too. This Tula Rose Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening Eye Balm. If I have like really bad bags under my eyes or I'm feeling like so tired I'll definitely do this but it's just like a little brightening glowing situation and then my Laneige lip mask I found this at TJ Maxx I think it's they're like 25 bucks I know on like Amazon I think I found it for like 14 at TJ Maxx a while ago and it lasts so long um, I just keep it in here. I use it at nighttime, but like throughout the day, if I'm like, ooh, my lips, you know, I'll grab some. But the main thing I use on my lips, like 90% of the time, Aquaphor. I have a big tub of Aquaphor here in the bathroom. Um, I got this big tub of it when, like over the summer, when I had a lot of 
uh, like large tattoos healing on my arms. Always have this on hand for tattoos when they're healing. But I also use this on my skin. It's like Vaseline basically. I just prefer the Aquaphor. And then I have a bunch of the squeezy tubes. Like I have one in my car. I have one in my purse. Like we love Aquaphor for our lips. So the whole fam uses that. Um, okay, that is pretty good and dry. Let me go grab my water and then we'll finish makeup. Okay, like I said, I'm forever changing things up. I just like to try new makeup products. Um, some are like ride or die forever, but I'm, I always am down to try new things, you know? So one of the ride or die things is this primer. I used to not be a believer in primer until I used this specific primer. It is so good. I need to try the new one, actually. I think there's a new one that I've been seeing on TikTok. It's the same brand, same, same. I don't know. It's it's Power Grip, I think, something. It's like pink, though. But this specific Power Grip primer is so good. One little squirt. Oh, wow. I'm making a mess. It is, like, sticky. Sticky primer. I love it. There's glitter on my face. <laughs> When we went to uh, the Hardy concert, I put some glitter eyeshadow on and it must have gotten on something else in my makeup bag because every day when I start doing my makeup, I end up with glitter on my face. I think it's on like the outside of that primer bottle or something, but okay, we are primed. I don't even necessarily want to put makeup on today. Like I'm down to just go to Target like this. But you guys, a lot of you have been asking for this makeup um, on TikTok, on Instagram, and here. So we're gonna just do makeup for you today, okay? So we did the primer. Now, lately, I've been using, where is it? Hello? Um, IL Makeage? I don't know. I've been, <laughs> I saw ads on Instagram for this stuff forever. And I finally was like, well, let me try it. They let you try it for 14 days before you pay for it. So I got the foundation. I got the foundation brush, foundation blending brush. And I also got the concealer. You just like do a quiz online and they send you the colors that the quiz tells you that you, you get. And surprisingly enough, it was perfect. So, and I love it. So I'm, I kept it paid for all that. Um, I just put a little dot, well, one little pump on the outside of my hand, kind of dab this in, dab it all around, and then I'll blend it after that, but that's how I initially get it on there. And this brush is so great. It blends out really nicely, matches like my... body color <laughs> my face always is like lighter than the rest of my body even like when I'm out in the sun a lot I don't know my face just like freckles it doesn't really tan um, but I do use those facial tanning drops so that helps match me a little bit better but I'm gonna spread that all out buff it all in and then I do concealer my skin feels so dry today. I should have probably put some of that CeraVe on. Concealer. Let's see. Okay, so I, my shade, which when I very first put this on, I was like, ooh, this seems a little orangey, but it does, it, it works and it matches me. But my shade is 120. This is the Woke Up Like This foundation. And then the concealer is called I'm Flawless and the multi-use perfecting concealer. Mine is the color 08. So we're gonna do that here. I know the girlies say you're not supposed to do your concealer like this anymore, but I'm a millennial. I just use the same brush and blend that in. When I'm not filming, my makeup takes me like five minutes to do. But we're gonna we're a little chit chatty, you know? I really do like this stuff, it wears well for me. Like I said, the Instagram ads finally got me. So, trying it out and 
I like it. I think I signed up for like the, every three months they send you like a new supply and then you get like a discount on it if you do that. So I did that. The lighting in here is not the best and I'm using my um, big vlog camera, which has way better quality, but I feel like the lighting is a little bit different. So there is our base. Now I take my little, I get these little puffers from Amazon. They come in a big pack. And I like to use this L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour powder. Do we know what color this is? Number five. So it's just like a light powder. Not, not super light, but light enough to brighten up the under eyes. So I just kind of tap that on my under eyes to try to set it. I am greasy. Like I get, I get real greasy throughout the day, but my skin is like dry, but I end up greasy. It's, I guess, I don't know what you call that combination skin. <laughs> um, I always have to powder set my eyelids because they get real greasy as well. I'm sure some of you are the same. So set the under eyes like that. And then I'm going to use, I have a few different bronzers I have in my drawer, but today we're going to use butter bronzer. Never does me wrong. Physicians formula smells like summer. So good. And then this is a um, powder brush from Real Techniques 201 powder brush, but we're just going to bronze. I feel like it looks way darker on camera <laughs> than it does in person. Quickly, bronze. I don't like, con I don't know, I don't like contour or anything. I just bronze. Once again, <laughs> I'm a millennial. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna be 35 soon. Like, in, I don't know, three weeks. A little under three weeks. So that's. Fun. I'm actually excited about <laughs> I'm excited. I'm actually excited about 35. Okay, so blush. This has been my favorite blush for a while now, but it's the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Blushing Bride. It's so pretty. I love like a good pink blush. Um, and then I use like a fluffy brush for my blush. Real Techniques 400. Oh, it is a blush brush, so we're doing something right here. Um, but it's, I love a pink, pink cheek. So, put some on my nose. Okay, and then for eyeshadow, this is a super old brush. I have no idea the brand or anything, but it's just like a fluffy, a fluffy brush. And then I have this uh, blush. It's like a bronzer blush kind of combo is what it seems like to me, but it's uh, Milani Baked Powder Blush in Berry Amore. Amore. And I've been using this as eye, like just a quick eyeshadow. I don't know, it's just kind of like a pinky bronze. Like literally just, see what I'm doing? <laughs> All around. All right, eyebrows. NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Taupe. I don't do much to my eyebrows. You guys know this. Not a big eyebrow girly, but I just kind of add on to the tail end here and just slightly fill her in. That's about it. And then I'll show you guys what I like set my brows with. This uh, Benefit Gimme Brow, I've had this forever, and it was like a sample, I want to say, that like was in a, like a gift thing from Ulta, maybe. Do they carry Benefit? I think so. So I just use that to like kind of floof and set, because it's like a brow gel, but it's colored. What color is it? Brow Volume Fiber Gel. Does it have a color? Three. Wait, it has a three on it. <laughs> I'm a professional. Okay, sisters, not twins. Then, I used to never curl my lashes and I've been a big lash curling girly lately. So, I just have this 
uh, probably Amazon, I have no idea. Lash curler, um, get in there real close, and I like pull them up. <laughs> We're gonna Alex Earl those eyelashes. Yeah. Also, keep in mind, this is not like my every day makeup. I only really wear makeup if we have like somewhere, like an event we're going to or I'm like going grocery. I don't know. I don't know. There's no real rhyme or reason to my makeup habits. I just, you know, do what I feel. But if I'm going to do my makeup, this is what I've been doing lately. Okay. We have curled curled lashes. Now these are my two favorite mascaras of all time. This is like $8 and I think this one is like nine or 10. Um, but I start out with this Essence Lash Princess as like my base layer for my mascara. Let's see. I think you guys can see. Usually I just get really close to my big mirror, but I want you guys to be able to see. Just like a light little base layer. And then I like to build it up with that Lash Paradise. Love the wand on here. Back in college, my favorite mascara was the MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash Mascara. And they don't make it anymore, but the wand was identical to this. Um, I wish they still made that because that was my favorite mascara. Okay. Little base layer. Let that dry while I do the other eye. I also do this one on the bottom lashes just because the shape of the brush works better than the Lash Paradise. We'll clean up later. I'll have to get a <laughs> Q-tip and clean up. Okay, so now we go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. You guys know I love eyelashes. So, we like to build them up. We love a good eyelash and a good mascara combo. Oh my gosh. We're having a good eyelash day, praise be. Sometimes I'm just like, what? Ma'am, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? Cooperate. They're cooperating. They are lashing. The lashes are lashing today. I think I better not speak too soon. I'm still excited to do this side. I kind of like close one eye. You know, you know, while you're putting it on. It gets the ends really good that way. Okay, I need to get out the tweezers. This happens all the time. Oh, where are they? So if my lashes are like stuck together, like these right here, I just... This is something I've been doing since like high school. <laughs> I just separate them with tweezers. Good. I'll get a Q-tip. When all that's dry, we'll clean it up. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be such a long video of me just doing my skincare and makeup. I'm also gonna vlog today, so I guess this will have to be two videos. Oh, someone just knocked at my front door. Mailman, is that you? I think it's UPS. What, oh, it's FedEx. I wonder what came. What did I order? I don't even know. All right. We're gonna call that good. Let me grab a Q-tip. So anywhere that I have like little mascara dots, I just take a dry Q-tip and right off okay let me take you guys over here to like the more natural light so 
you can see my makeup. There we go. So, perfume. This is, um, you guys know I've worked with Scentbird in the past before. And I got like one of the little Scentbird size perfumes in this one. It's called Juice, 100% chilled. So I ordered a full size one. It's actually pretty inexpensive and I ordered it from Amazon. But, mmm, it smells so good. So, I will link that for you guys. And it's so cute because it looks like a little juice box but then it has this little button for that. Um, what am I gonna put on my lips? We're gonna put this on. I really like this <laughs> stuff. This is the L'Oreal, is it L'Oreal? Oh, Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is the color Petal. It's a really pretty pink. I love that color so much. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything with my hair today. I'll probably just leave it. I used my three barrel uh, wand crimper thing that Nat gave me when we were in Sacramento, um, which is from Amazon, so I'll link it, but I'll probably just, maybe I'll put a hat on today. Let's see. I'm just gonna wear sneakers, so I could. Do a hat. Yeah, I'll do that. I got this hat in Nashville at the Nash store on. Why can't I think of what street it is? I don't know. It's like near Broadway. Okay, we're gonna call it good. I might fix my little bangs, my little front pieces here. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, now you guys know all of the skincare and makeup details. I, like I said, I'll have them all linked in the description box. I'm also gonna vlog today, so stay tuned for the next video. I'm actually vlogging, I think, every day this week. So there should be lots of videos coming. Hopefully you guys are excited. I'm excited to vlog. I've been like really excited to vlog lately. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.